If you're here because you want to know what's hot in Canva, my friends, you are in the right place. Today, I have three new features for you, four template categories and one photographer highlight. Let's go. What is up everyone? My name is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel. This is the best place on the universe to learn about Canva and how to become a better designer with Canva. On this channel, we have two tutorials every week, one from me, one from Diana, and we just love to tell you what's up with Canva and show you how to best use it. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, just go for it. The button's just literally right there. All right, so YouTubers jokes apart, let's jump into today's content. Let's start with the new features. The first feature I have for you today is a way to import your video files directly from Google Drive. So you might already know that you can connect your Canva account to your Google Drive account. Okay, so to do so, you just have to head over here to the little more button on the left panel. So when you click more, find the integration that says Google Drive. So right here between Giphy and Instagram, I can see the Google Drive icon. So I'm going to click on that. And because I have already connected my Google account to Canva. So if it's the first time you click on that button, you'll have to connect your two accounts, which is super easy if you already have a Google account. For me, I've already done so. So I have some files here and I'm just going to go straight into a folder where I know I have a video. And what I want to show you is that you can now import your video files from your Google Drive account directly into Canva. Previously, you could only import photos or PNGs or something like that, but now you can can add videos and videos up to 100 megabytes. I've heard from Canva that they are working on improving this size limit if you have larger video files. But for now, up to 100 megabyte files, you can directly transfer. So I have videos here. So I have a screen capture from my phone and I have a video, which I believe is when I received my Canva certified creative swag pack back in 2018, I guess when I was in Thailand. So I'm going to click on this video and import it to my design design right oh, here. Yeah. So you see it's me opening this <laughs> and we were super excited oh in our in our studio in in Thailand. Yeah. yeah this is this is really cool to see this old video. This is pretty much where everything started for me when I became a Canva certified creative. I was not yet working at Canva at the time. So a little bit of nostalgia moment, but what I wanted to show you is that you can import your video files directly from Google Drive. And I clicked on it and it immediately played in Canva. That is because right before I shoot this video, I already tried the feature to show you guys. So there will be a little bit of a loading time from like during which your video will be coming and uploading into Canva. For me, it lasted around 30 to 40 seconds and then the video which is almost a minute like 46 seconds long was fully loaded so this is the first thing i wanted to show you today so you have to first connect your google account to canva and then you can start uploading video files directly into canva up to 100 megabytes so that is the first feature let's move on to the second one the second feature is actually not exactly a feature but kind of like a big deal announcement and i'm talking about drum roll please a new logo. Canva actually launched yesterday their new logo. And if you pay close attention to the Canva homepage, you should see a new logo here in the top left corner. So pay close attention to it. I actually have found the logo and added it to this page right here. So you can have a look. So you might ask like, Ronnie, this is not a new logo. This logo kind of looks very similar to the other logo. Well, my friends, the answer is yes, it does look similar. It is not a complete logo redesign, but better a logo touch up or a logo refinement, improvement. Call it whatever you want to call it. Canva is not completely changing its logo. I guess it's refining its logo to make it more practical. The logo existed since almost the beginning of Canva. So that would be seven, eight years ago. And it was already a good logo. Don't get me wrong or don't think that Canva didn't 
and really think well and hard about their logo. It's just that, you know, time evolves, trends evolves, and also the company has grown so much, it has now so many different components to it. There is the app on your phone, there is a thousands or a hundred thousands of different applications where the logo needs to appear. And I guess Canva wanted to modernize the logo a little bit, make it more practical for its different uses. So when you look at the comparison between the two logos, what you can observe is that the main difference is to be noticed in the letter C right here. Let me zoom in on these two logos so you can actually see what's going on here. I'm gonna collapse this side panel as well so you can really see what's going on. So in the previous logo, which is the black version, the C letter was really like much bigger than the rest of the logo, right? Let me bring some guides here so you can actually appreciate what's going on. You see the C letter was much higher than the rest of the logo which kind of like by almost a third, I would say a good third of its height. But now in the new logo, you can see that it is much more condensed and the C letter is still bigger than the other letters, but not as prominent as before. The logo is more balanced. It seems like it's more balanced. It stands more in a bar as before. So that's mostly the difference. The, the font, which is a hand-drawn font, I've received this question pretty often in the comments. Like, what font is the Canva logo? It is not a, a font that you can just discover and use and have the exact same font. This has been handcrafted, handwritten, if you want, like calligraphy and fine-tuned by the artist who redesigned this logo. So there you go, a brand new logo. You will find it everywhere on the Canva platform, but the most obvious place to find it is on the homepage when you just log into Canva. You will see it here in the top left corner. So that's just a little perks that I thought I would share with you. It was a big deal. It was actually announced yesterday. So by the time you see this video it might be like a week before. So it was announced at Canva. We can talk about it obviously because it's public and yeah I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. Why did they change the logo and what were the differences between the new and the older version of the logo. So if you are interested in knowing more I'm sure Canva will have some communication about this maybe on the their Facebook page or maybe on their Instagram channel. So make sure you follow them there as well. Right, moving on to the third new feature for this episode. And then after that, we'll go to the template categories. The third new feature is actually the possibility for you to use stickers in the Canva comments. Okay, so first let me explain what are the Canva comments and what are they used for. The Canva comments is really a collaboration feature to work with your team and co-design with your team in Canva and better communicate with them from within the app. Many of you might already know this. So for example, let's say our designer has created this slide right here. Okay, let's say we are going to use this in one of our videos and I think this orange color is not really on brand. So I want to leave a message to our designer and let her know, look, this is not our brand color. Okay, so I will say something like, you can also use at, so I could tag Camila here, who is our designer. So I would say at Camila, this orange orange color is not our brand color. Would you swap to the classic yellow? Okay, so I will just pop that comment there. Okay, like so. And Camila will see this message. So she might answer something like, I don't know, let's say, let's imagine she has answered. Okay, so here is the new version. Obviously it shouldn't be me answering but her but because she's sleeping now like I have no choice. I have to do it everything myself. And then I could answer with oh that's perfect. Like now it is yellow. Let's just admire my role playing uh, skills here. So now it is on brand. It is our yellow from Team Rondi. Perfect. And this guy right here as well needs to be yellow. There you go. She has made the changes and go back to my comment right here and I will just use a sticker, which is what I wanted to show you. Add a sticker with this little icon right here and you will discover different stickers that Canva puts at your disposal to interact. It's just like the Facebook reactions, but there are just much more. We have about how many? I would say maybe 30. 25, 30 different stickers right here. We have green light, red light, we have okay, stars, flowers, thumbs up, stop, question, the different reactions, celebration kind of icons. So I will just use the okay one and I will reply with 
a sticker. So this is a fun, quirky little add-on to the commenting mechanism here in Canva that you can use with your team to just make things and communication a little bit livelier. And who knows, maybe in the future, we will be able to design our own stickers and use these as sets of stickers in the comments. That would be amazing. So Canva maybe will come up with this feature one day, but this is the first step towards something like this, towards more engaging, more fun ways to communicate with Canva. All right, and this wraps up the first part of this tutorial. Stay tuned because I have a lot more to cover here. Namely, we are going to go over four new templates categories that I believe you would love. And then at the end of the video, we will have our photographer highlight. And today is a very cool photographer with some jaw dropping photos of aerial photography. Just a little teaser for you. If you watch until the end, you will discover this photographer. And now moving on to the second section of this What's Hot episode. And by all means, if you like this episode, if you find it useful, you always like to know what's new with Canva, you can visit the other episode. We have created a playlist and I will have a link in the corner here for you to discover this playlist. It is also on our YouTube's channel's homepage. So if you want to discover them, just scroll to the channel, go to home, and you will see kind of on top of the page, you will see a playlist with what's hot. We have nine other episodes and they all follow the same structure. So we have new features, new template categories, photographer highlights. It's all there for you to visit. So go ahead and check these other episodes out if you like what I'm doing in this one. Okay, so let's head over the templates tab right here on Canva and start talking about the new templates category. The first one I would like you to discover is called game presentations in plural. And this is super cool in this virtual meeting world that we are kind of trapped into. Canva has recently launched a batch of templates that are actually games. Yeah, games that you can play with people during meetings virtually within Canva. So I just want to show you a few of them. So we have kind of like quizzes, like a math quiz right here. Let me open this one to show you. Okay, so we have questions, multiple choice, yes or no, video questions, true or false. And so uh, like the template is built for you to really pop into your meeting and then share your screen with your friends or with your, I don't know, students maybe for this one, if you are a teacher and just go and, and play the game. Like you have your questions, you have your mechanism, in the game, etc., etc. So these are quizzes, pretty fun to play. But then there are some other ones. For example, you can play with your lover or you can play with your friends. Like never have I ever, this one must be a fun one to play, like girls night edition. So if you have like a bunch of friends that you haven't seen in a while, a bunch of girlfriends that you haven't seen in a while, you can play this game. Okay, so house rules, do this before we start. So rule number one, everyone has to have their camera on when playing. So you see these have been built for you to actually join the fun and play directly from Canva. So here you need to use the official virtual background for the game. So there's a virtual background you can actually download. So these are just not just like simple games. They are more elaborated experiences that the Canva designers have created for you. So how we'll play, you have five minutes to submit three never have I ever questions to the game master. The game master will flash a random blah, blah, blah. So there's like game rules that are explained here and you can start playing and you have a bunch of them look more like this. These are what 20 different similar games that you can play just with the never have I ever. This is just another type of game, but we have other stuff like the petty debates, we have uh, word puzzles, and then I discovered also recently, you can even play chess with Canva. Let me go to the chess board, which is this one right here. So you see in the template, so I'm gonna go and use the template to actually show you how it works. Okay, so you start playing. So you have your board. This one is a one page chess template, and you just move your chess pieces one after the other, you see, well, actually you don't play chess like so, but mostly you move forward. I can play chess. I have played chess in the past. So let's say I play like this, play like this, and then I can eat this guy. All right, and you delete it. And then that's how you can play your chess game with a friend directly in Canva. This is pretty amazing. This is pretty smart as well. I highly encourage you to discover these games. So what you have to type again, let me show you in order to find these game 
presentations with an S and you find a ton of different templates that you can use to play games with your friends. The second template category I would like you to discover is a new series, a new batch of Zoom backgrounds. So just type in Zoom background like this in the singular Zoom background and you will find the latest additions of Zoom backgrounds. So it's going to be a mix of static backgrounds and video backgrounds that you can download and upload into Zoom directly. And these are pretty cool and they are for like all types of people. Like you have uh, LGBTQ kind of templates, you have teacher kind of templates, you have just like trendy, cool looking templates like this one, background like this one. This one is a video background, so I can actually open it and show you how the video plays here. Let me just use that. See, so you have the gradient kind of moving. It's really nice. You can leave a message. This one is for equality. So at Canva, there is a huge support for pride and for LGBTQ communities. So yeah, we always happy to support equality really with our content, with our template library. So these are part of this series. But if this is not for you, if you prefer something more playful or maybe more serious for your work, you can find that as well. Let me go back because I am not done here with showing you these new Zoom background. A few others that I like are the minimalistic ones. Like like, let me find one that I saw the other. Oh, yeah, this one is pretty cool. So senior meme coordinator. You see, you can really like with the Dodge Dog, super fun meme. You have more serious ones, like you have patterns as well. I really like this one, the wavy kind of like, if you want to hypnotize your colleagues when during your Zoom meetings, just use this one. Yeah, so there's a, a bunch of different things. If you are into astrology, they have like these zodiac signs here, uh, colorful ones, blobs, animated ones. Yeah, I really like these ones, like the blob kind of gradient thingies going on and they have a bunch of them as well. So you can always use these filters to refine your searches. So for example, you want backgrounds, yes, backgrounds, and you want them to be colorful. So there you go. You have the filters applied and you have the most colorful zoom background here for you ready to go. So again, in order to find these new zoom backgrounds, simply type zoom background singular and they are going to be there waiting for you. Moving on with our new template categories, the holiday season is approaching and one of the first holidays is Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is a big American holiday and as for every holiday season, Canva has you covered. So if you are looking for Thanksgiving type of promotional visuals that you need to create or if you want to invite friends and family over to your house for celebrating Thanksgiving with a nice dinner and a nice turkey and just like sharing some quality moment with your families, then you might want to send a lovely invite. So for that, just type in Thanksgiving in your templates tab and you will discover all the new Thanksgiving visuals. So as always, the team prepares some really cool and trendy stuff with the latest fonts, with the latest color trends, though Thanksgiving is always kind of like orangey kind of vibe and autumn fall kind of vibes. But yeah, so these are the new ones you can find some lovely invites, you will find some banners, you will find some Instagram posts. So really depending on how you decide to share these visuals with your community or with your friends and families, like the format you will be using will depend on that. So if you want a Facebook post, you can filter with the vertical filters here, the Facebook post. And you will have 127 templates, it says here, related to Thanksgiving with on top the latest one. So you have the Facebook post, we also have let me untick that. We have like, let's say invitations, talked about inviting your friends and family. So you have square type of invitations. Those are pretty cool. I really like like the simple style of them. So come and celebrate with us Thanksgiving feast, 21st of November. So the dates should be accurate also for this year. I imagine like this must change slightly from year to year. So there you go, your Thanksgiving templates directly in Canva. We're talking about holidays, the last template category I want to show you is of course, Halloween templates. So the Halloween is a big commercial event as well in the commercial year, in the commercial calendar. So companies, businesses, big or small are 
going to talk about Halloween. So you of course need to be prepared and at least have your one post if you're just a creator and don't really care about Halloween like we do or if you do care about Halloween and it's a big deal for you, you can create entire campaigns with that. So in any case, again, Canva has your back about this and has launched its recent Halloween template collection. So just go for that. Simply type Halloween. You will find the latest Halloween templates. They are spookier than ever. They are cuter than ever as well. Like I really like this story right here. A lot of things going on. And yeah, you can really have fun with these. Like this is a usually a fun moment in the year where people's creativity really go wild. You probably go to a Halloween party if your country uh, already allows that. I'm not sure what's going to happen here in Australia, but if I am invited to a Halloween party, I will go and I will dress up and I will share a photo with you in the community tab. All right, so this wraps up our section about the new template category. We have one new photographer highlight to cover still, but before that, let's take a moment to discover my favorite comment from this week. As you know, we receive a lot of comment on the YouTube channel and a lot of them are really lovely. We love reading them. I love reading them. I usually do this on a Sunday afternoon or morning in my sofa, like very comfy, take my computer or my phone, just spend some time like reading them. And it really all makes sense to me. Like, yes, we are working hard on these videos, but reading your comments and seeing how they help you achieve your goals really makes it all worthy. So today I want to take a minute and acknowledge Gabriella. And she left her comment on a community post that we posted last week, which was, do you remember which was the first video you saw from us? And Gabriella answered this. Unfortunately, I cannot recall. However, what I do remember is that once I have started watching the videos, I could never stop. I have been watched many of them Sorry, Netflix. I love this message. Gabriella. if you're watching this, thank you so much for leaving that. And I like your joke at the end. Yeah, sorry, Netflix. Take that, Netflix. Who watches Netflix anyways when you have quality channels like this one? Well, thank you, Gabriella. Thank you all of you who leave us comments. We absolutely love reading them. So please continue leaving us tons of comments and maybe we will feature yours in the next video. All right, now the time has come to discover our photographer for this week. This week we have a photographer who is based in Berlin, Germany. His name is Adam Vradenburg. Okay, I hope I said that correctly. Adam Vradenburg. Vradenburg. This is my best shot. I don't speak German. I do speak a little bit of Dutch. In Dutch it would be Vradenburg. I'm not sure. Sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly, which I probably did. Adam, let's call him Adam. Adam is from Berlin and he loves to take aerial photography, so drone photography. And he really takes drone photography to the next level. So let's discover some of his photos here. I will have a link in the description for you guys to actually discover this landing page with all of Adam's photos. And I will show you also in a second how to use the photos and search for more within Canva. But for now, let's discover some of its work. So a lot of like very nice landscape. I like this snowy like pine trees with the snow kind of from the top. Really love that. Some beach stuff, city stuff, underwater or kind of in the water surf vibe. Coastlines, architecture, skies. Really love the snowy things. Like these are beautiful landscape. So these could easily be your screensaver on your computer or on your phone or your desktop wallpaper. Really love these. So if you miss traveling like I do, you must check out Adam's photography. These are really vibrant, very well framed and composition wise. It's, it's perfect. Look at this one. Really beautiful photo. And yeah, like creative drone photography. If you are into like the traveling industry, the hospitality business, or if you run a blog, these are some really good shots for you to discover. So how do you use these photos? Well, different ways of using them. So for example, let's say I use this one, like the skyline on top of the mountain and all the stars. If I like this, I can heart it from here. So if you heart it, it will be saved into your likes folder which you can access via Canva. You can, of course, use that in a design, which I'm going to do right now. I want to use that in a Facebook post, let's say. So Canva will open the photo in a Facebook post, like so. And when I'm here, I can first access my likes folders. So if I go to my folders, find my likes, I will find the photo right here. 
Okay, so that's one way. Another way would be to click on the photo itself, click on the little I button, the info button, and just simply view more by Adam van den Burg. Okay, like this. And then now all of Adam's photos will be here in your side panel and you can choose from them. You can add more. So if I delete this one and want to use this one, there you go. So again, if you like these photos, we'll have a link in the description for you guys. And this wraps up this episode of What's Hot. 10 episodes already. Cannot believe this has been already such a long journey. And I believe this series is one of you guys' favorite. So make sure to find more. We have links here for you to discover more videos of this channel and if you're not yet subscribed you know what to do thank you for watching until the end i will see you in the next video